Now I'm going to start out with a quote from Steve Johnson of the Firearm Blog. Anything to do with how your body interfaces with a weapon system will not be a review that's binary in nature. There is no universal this works or this does not work as empirical facts on these types of products. What feels good to one person feels bad to another. With that out of the way, allow me to introduce the Viper. What is it called? It's called Night Strike. Night Strike. The Viper Night Strike. It's like a flip-flop for your gun. Angled foregrips allow the user to have a more comfortable hold on their handguard and maintain better control over their muzzle in tactical situations. The Night Strike Viper Advanced Grip System is an ergonomic angled foregrip made of lightweight polypropylene. There are two other variations, the Diamondback and the Sidewinder. Each variation has a different angle, allowing you to pick the angle of grip based on your particular preference. The Night Strike series was designed with a curved, fang-like finger groove to encourage a more natural hold on the rifle and enhance muzzle control. Looking at it from afar, it almost looks organic. It has a ridged texture along the underside of the grip to increase friction between your hand and the plastic. Like Magpul AFG grips, it slides onto a Picatinny rail and is secured with this bolt. It can also be opened up by removing these bolts along the side. I was skeptical of the design at first, but quickly found the finger groove to be a comfortable addition. I felt like I had more control of my barrel direction when aiming. I've always had a love-hate relationship with angled foregrips because my wrists don't like to bend that way. After my initial tests, I think the Diamondback variant would likely fit my particular preference better than the Viper with its less exaggerated angle. When using the grip on my Tipman M4, I found the muzzle manipulation to be very comfortable, though the aforementioned problem with my wrist still remained. When I mounted the Viper on my SNP-10, which has a much longer rail, I found it to be a lot more comfortable. The SNP is a spring-powered VSR-10, so I was able to brace the airsoft gun against my shoulder without having to remove my eyes from the scope. For me, the Viper quickly started to feel like it was part of the SNP-10 instead of an accessory. In order to give you a better idea of what this feels like, I compared it to several popular foregrips commonly used on airsoft guns. The Viper is most comparable to the Magpul AFG 1 and 2. The Viper is smaller but has the same amount of area for grip space and offers similar angled hold options. It is canted at roughly the same angle and bears some obvious physical similarities. I actually like the feel of the Viper a little bit more than the AFG as much as that might pay me to say. The smoothness of the Viper grip meshes a little bit better with my particular situation, and the finger groove proved to be more comfortable than clunky. While my wrist doesn't negotiate entirely with the angle of the grip, I understand how it's supposed to perform. In some ways, it feels similar to holding a regular vertical foregrip at an angle. Now, I've never held a vertical foregrip the way it's supposed to be held. I usually choke up on the handguard and brace my fingers against it, and use it as a makeshift hand stop. The finger groove is kind of comparable to this method in the respect that it offers a sort of hand stop for you to brace your fingers against. I also tested it against SRU's 3D printed foregrip. This grip is very cool, but I found it to be a little too angular. The Viper offers smooth, organic curves as opposed to the stiff rigidity of the SRU grip. Again, different strokes for different folks. As I said before, we usually don't have to worry about recoil in airsoft, but I busted out my Tipman M4 to see if the Viper truly assists with muzzle control. The kick of a Tipman isn't anything substantial, but the Viper allowed me to maintain my grip on the M4 while moving around and crouching. The finger groove does feel like it gives me a little more control, especially when positioning my thumb over the bore. While using it with the SNP, I mentioned before that I found the grip to be much more comfortable. I think I can really understand how this product is supposed to perform when it's on a longer handguard. It makes a longer barrel easier to direct and aim. Again, this could just be a result of how my body interfaces with the attachment. I think the biggest thing to keep in mind is that you know what you think is comfortable. So if you are considering a Night Strike grip, you have three different options to choose from. An obvious Night Strike advantage is how many different ways you can hold this grip. Of course, there's the standard grip method, and there's always the two-finger split method. But why not go for the three-finger reverse grip? Or just not grab the grip at all? There's also a host of different tactical grips like the back rub, the double deuce, 
the C-clip, the gentle caress. Who could forget the helping hand? How about the renegade, the eagle talon, the gunfighter, the hover hand, the invisible man, the pompadour, the pump action, and of course, there's always the enigma for maximum recoil mitigation. Overall, I think Night Strike has created a nice product that fills an unforeseen niche. The thought process behind the grip makes a lot of sense, and its performance backs up its claims. As with most tactical accessories, it's not going to suit everyone, though its innovative approach to muzzle control makes a lot of sense to me. My verdict? It's a unique grip with an effective feature and multiple variations to accommodate any user. I think it's worth considering alongside other popular grip options. A big thanks to Night Strike for sending me a product for review, and a very special thank you to my new patrons. Stay corporate approved. And if you haven't checked out episode 4 of Simulacrum yet, go do it. You'll be my very best friend.